Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It does not matter what sport you're betting on. We have all the tools right here for you. Before we get into NHL games for Sunday, October the 31st, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools that you will need. So let's take a look at some NHL games for October 31st. The NHL season is well underway and we have several games on tap for you so let's get started scroll down through here we have the arizona coyotes and the carolina hurricane the coyotes come in dead status having lost their last six and carolina has won their last six carolina is a huge favorite at 1.44 for odds to 3.102 odds and right now you see that carolina is burning hot versus dead if you look at the uh, power ranking indicator you can see here, not a surprise here, that Carolina is at plus 30 up at the top of the league, and Arizona is down at zero. This is a, it looks like a big mismatch. The interesting thing about this is, if we look at the score prediction, Arizona 1, Carolina 0, with confidence in prediction of nearly 70%. If you look at the totals predictor, you can see here Arizona trending in games over the line, while Carolina is trending in the games under the line, so in that scenario, I usually tend to avoid the over-under. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, although since it's early in the season, you won't see too much on here yet, but it'll give a little bit of indication how steady the two teams have been. And you can see that Arizona has been consistent at plus six, and Carolina has been pretty consistent as well at plus two. The way I see the outcome of this game is I'm not going to go with the uh, score prediction. I don't see this happening. Carolina is a much too strong team. I believe that the Hurricanes will take care of business at home but I will avoid the over-under bet. The Buffalo Sabres and the Los Angeles Kings. The Sabres come in, average up, having won their last two, and the Kings have dead stats. They have lost their last six. Despite the fact that the Kings have lost their last six, they are home favorites at 1.784 to 2.2 odds. The power ranking indicator shows Buffalo has a plus 24 to plus 3 advantage. If you're looking at the over and under, the score predictor, you see that Buffalo had been trending in games over the line and now slightly under the line, whereas Los Angeles is a bit over the line. Again, there's a discrepancy there as far as teams being over and under, finishing on other sides of the line. So I usually try to avoid the over and under in that case. But let's take a look at the score prediction. You see the score prediction as the Kings with a 4-3 to three edge with a confidence in prediction at 68%. I actually do like the Kings to end their losing streak here. I will go with the Kings at home, pick themselves off the ice, win this game, but I would not take the over-under bet on this one. The Montreal Canadiens and the Anaheim Ducks. Both teams are dead status, even though the Canadiens have won two out of their last three, but the Ducks here are on a five-game losing streak and are just one in five in their last six. The power ranking indicator shows that neither team has done much as far as you know not high here at all right so you see anaheim is at plus four they were up to plus 16 back on october 21st we see the big drought downward trend for them and you see that montreal has been stable at plus two over the last few days the score prediction shows anaheim the three to two uh, edge in victory with a confidence in prediction of nearly 66%. Let's take a look at the totals predictor. We always like to do for the over and under. Let's see what we have here. Montreal is trending in games well under the line. Anaheim trending in games over the line. Again, this is a kind of scenario where I generally like to avoid the over and under. If you, if you do want to bet either way, maybe go with the over. I would not go with the under in this one. I would either go over or avoid the bet altogether. As far as for the outcome in the game, I do like the Ducks on home ice to win this contest. The Columbus Blue Jays, excuse me, the Blue Jays, the Columbus Blue Jackets, excuse me, and the New Jersey Devils. Columbus is coming in average up, winners of their last game, and they've alternated wins and losses over their last Five, they are three and two over the last five, and four and two over the last six. The Devils are average down. They are coming off a five to three loss to Calgary, and they are three and three over the last six games. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see 
The teams are nearly identical, both on a downward trend. New Jersey at plus 15, Columbus at plus 14. If you look at the totals predictor, Columbus has been trending in games over the line for quite some time. New Jersey also has been trending in games over for quite some time. So here's a good scenario to bet the over. And the score prediction pretty much says the same thing. With a 4-3 margin of win for New Jersey with an 82% level of confidence. This is the highest confidence of any game so far for this day. I do like the Devils as well. I do like them to win. And I do like the over. The final game we want to look at is the New York Rangers and the Seattle Kraken. The Rangers are coming in average stats. They are 4-2 and two over the last six, but they did lose their last one. 5-5-1 five, five to one score at home against Calgary. Seattle ice cold up winners of their last two after dropping their first four. And both those wins convincing fashion at home, 5-1 to one and 4-1 to one over Montreal and Minnesota. The power ranking indicator shows the Rangers up at plus 29. Very strong. Seattle... Coming up from plus 5 a few days ago, there's a couple wins. They're up to plus 9. You see the Kraken is a home underdog. The odds are 1.69 for the Rangers to 2.362 for Seattle. The Tolls predictor shows the Rangers right now, right near the line, slightly under the Kraken at over the line by a significant amount. The score prediction is not indicating an over. It's not really, it's, well, we don't really know because we don't know what the line is yet, what the odds are, what the totals are. But right now, I would avoid the over under bet. But what I do like is the Rangers to win on the road. Seattle is playing well right now, but I do think the Rangers are the better overall team. They have confidence coming in, even though they lost their last game. They're the much better team. We can look at the volatility oscillator to see if that's going to change our mind as far as the prediction. Uh, you can see here that Seattle is uh, a little bit more stable at plus 1 to minus 1. Not a big deal here with these numbers considering it's so early in the season. So that really doesn't change my way of thinking in the game. So I do believe that the Rangers will win, but avoid the over-under bet. So there you have it for the games October 31st in the NHL. Happy betting, and we will see you next week.